Jesse Stay, hashtag Geek Greens here. I wanted to just show you real quick. It's it's raining outside, sprinkling, um, starting to, uh, the, the rain's kind of finishing up here. But I want to show you real quick um, uh, what it looks like after a good rainstorm in my uh, my uh, rain automatic rain watering system in the uh, in the berms and swales that I made. Let's uh, show you here. I'm seeing angry faces. I don't know why. But uh, so you see up here, um, you've got, uh, this is the roof with, um, uh, with rainwater coming through and they all go in this pipe here. And the pipe actually, you can kind of see it going here and uh, uh, it connects over here. Um, goes over here. I'm actually gonna end up creating a pergola, I think, um, assuming I'm here long enough. Um, okay, the pergola here that'll uh, go over here and it'll actually take it over and, and there's a whole bunch of, we've got the uh, um, uh, water barrels there uh, that uh, this pipe actually will go over and into the water barrels. And then the, the um, water barrels here will uh, end up overflowing here and into here. And you can see already, I've got the um, uh, water automatically emptying into the pond here. The, uh, still working on the pond here to improve some of the, the beautification of it. But uh, um, uh, but you can see it's emptying. It's barely raining right now, and you can already see there's still a bunch of water coming through, continually filling. And it actually, over here, um, goes through and uh, fills in. Um, uh, it over the, the pond overflows right here in this section over here and fills this series of berms and swales that I made. So you can see over here, check this out. So I can't even walk in here because my feet will be soaked. But all the way back there, it's just filled to the brim with water. Uh, uh, they're just soaking up, turning this into a sponge, uh, uh, which is exactly what you want um, in, uh, in, in any ecosystem is you want your land to be a sponge. Uh, you can see the water's not really moving here which uh, is what I want. I want it to just kind of sit here and soak into the land, um, and especially in this arid, dry climate here in Utah. Uh, you want as much of that water as you can. You want it to stay in the land as long, as long as possible. So I'm just kind of letting it sit there. Um, uh, eventually, this will tie into the sprinkler system. Um, uh, the overflow from the water barrels there will end up going here, and I'll have a pump. Uh, my current sprinkler pump will actually integrate into the pond and will connect into the sprinkler system. And ideally, the sprinkler system will connect from the pond, um, and then those water barrels will end up filling the pond. Uh, uh, so ideally, we'll have no need for external water. I will run the um, secondary water system out to the pond here so that there is a backup source when uh, when when those water barrels there don't uh, don't uh, don't suffice. I've actually got another 250 gallon over there that will fill up as well. Um, at the moment these are all empty but they'll uh, uh, once I've got it all set up this will uh, go over a pergola here um, and then drop down into the water barrel. I've got um, uh, I've got uh, cold hardy kiwi that's actually going to grow vine over the pergola over there. Uh, you can see those are actually old boards from an old deck that we had in our back. So I'm actually just reusing the wood to make the um, water barrow uh, um, structure, which I haven't built yet. It's, those are just leaning there uh, <laughs> on purpose. But uh, I'll, I'll have a nice little structure there that will hold those water bar barrels. We'll have a few more water barrels than that. I think I paid, some of those I got for free, some I spent like five bucks on. Um, you check on, on uh, KSL Classifieds or Craigslist or wherever, you'll find uh, uh, really cheap water barrels if you keep an eye on it. And I just been accumulating those and I did the same, that, that 250 gallon one there I think I got for free. Um, not sure where that 250 gallon one's gonna go. It might go over here somewhere. I've gotta figure out how I wanna build the structure for that. Um, but anyway, I mean, that'll fill here. This will actually um, there, uh, be a pump that ideally will be powered by solar if I can get a good solar po panel or two and find a cheap op option for that um, uh, that will power the pump. The pump will uh, feed into the sprinkler system and you'll have nice fish. There's uh, koi fish all throughout here. By the way, the koi are edible. They're carp, not the best fish, but you can make fish out of them. 
um, any any carp recipes that uh, you can find which I mean again it's not the best fish uh, you can take koi and you can it's 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 just carp it's colored carp um, so uh, but that the the koi are providing fertilizer into the water we'll have a nice filter on the sprinkler that'll go in there I don't know if I'll ever finish this but this is my plan <laughs> at least at the moment uh, it depends how long we're in the house and everything but uh, um, again it, I mean and then anything that um, I mean a big rainstorm like this if those water barrels overflow they'll overflow into the pond which then overflows into the berms and soils here and this is kind of my vegetable I've got some trees in here uh, there's a um, uh, I've got uh, um, uh, persimmon trees and uh, um, uh, jujube bush there uh, um, and then I uh, got uh, drew some artichokes over there um, uh, you can already see some of the green coming through here um, but it all the goal is I mean all self-sustaining sustenance that kind of just takes care of itself and yeah I, I, uh, Kylie says self-sustenance at its finest that's that's the goal here um, and thanks Michael um, uh, appreciate it uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun but I mean the the water here filled the entire burns and swells this is the first time I've actually seen it fill the entire way here and it goes all the way over here um, all the way over here and and this was actually on purpose I, I do need to get a bigger berm here protecting uh, this area here so that it's not going into the lawn here but on purpose, I've got the duck pond here um, uh, overflowing here into a little bit of a indented area down here to push the water over here, which then feeds that tree there. It feeds the, I've got a ch Bing cherry tree here. That's actually an autumn olive, which is a nitrogen fixing bush um, that will end up helping feed these two trees. I've actually got another autumn olive here and there's another one over there. Um, uh, I've actually got, um, uh, uh, what's it called oh my mind's like there's another tree over there that I'm hoping will fill some of this blank over here um, uh, but nice little food forest here um, but again I mean this water here uh, it, it's filling in these swales here feeding the trees and ideally this will stay for a few days uh, after uh, again acting as a sponge into the water in, into this into the berms that I've got set up here um, the the land actually pushes uh, this way down here so all that water is pushing very slowly into these berms making these berms their own little sponge to absorb this water um, and you get the hot parts of the summer and the dry parts of the summer it's not gonna I mean this will all dry out eventually but the goal is as much of this with all that organic matter will absorb the water and, uh, and and at least deep inside the berm berm here will be nice and moist for the majority of time even during the the drier parts of summer and then add into that the storage there with uh, with uh, uh, integrating into the sprinkler system uh, ought to work um, but this is proving I mean just this is just one day's worth of water here you can see how much water has absorbed in here this is majority rain coming down from the sky that it's catching here um, so some of that is from directing the sky and I'm capturing it right in the land uh, and then uh, same it's also uh, uh, overflow from the roof all right so that video cut off uh... I uh, decided to go and take a break uh, with, and it's obviously raining right now um, but uh, you can see I mean, I mean the goal here is to make a sponge out of your land you want it to hold as much water as possible for as long as possible and uh, and ideally not take outside sources of water so you save water so you're you're being a contributor to the environment and the community uh, this is how you turn deserts into fruitful landscapes so I uh, take a look um, I'll, I'll include a link to Brad Lancaster's website uh, check out his stuff he's got some really good stuff on on saving water and structuring your land to be able to to keep and hold water longer he's done it down in Tucson which is the desert of the desert in the United States so if he can do it we can do it I'm doing it here you can see I mean already uh, I mean, this is actually a new a new rainstorm that you're seeing here it's already filling up again with water the land's just loving it um, 
nice, fresh, organic, wet, moist, stony soil that uh, uh, being great humus and soil being created. Anyway, that's the goal here. That's what you should be doing with your land. Um, go ahead and capture that water that's on your roof wherever you can and make it into a sponge in your land. And you won't have to use as much water. You won't have to take as much water from your city or the rest of the community. And you can be a great contributor to society. Anyway, I'm Jesse Stay of Hashtag Deep Greens.